Hi, I'm Fat Bat, and today I'm testing out these brownies. I found these in my Dollarama. Six brownies in a box. Just look at her. You can tell that her parents were never murdered in an alleyway before her very eyes. Enough with the brooding. Let's open up the box of brownies and see if these bat brownies taste half as good as they look. These bat brownies come in a cellophane wrapper. Don't worry. Just pull on them like this and the cellophane comes right off. Bat brownie. They ain't my parents. Is it just me? Or do these brownies look more like butterflies? Anyway, less talky, more bitey. Mmm, soft, with the right amount of chewiness. Yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe I'll just have one more. I have to make sure I save enough for Tim and Damien. Damien really likes brownies. You wouldn't think it, but so does Jason. I have to make sure that I save a brownie for Jason. That reminds me of the time that I took Jason out trick-or-treating in his first Robin costume. You know the costume that had no pants? It was just like underwear and a shirt with a little cape. Basically, it was Dick's costume that I just gave to Jason. I know. Talk about getting secondhand hand-me-downs. Anyway... Reminds me of a time where I took Jason trick-or-treating at all the offices at the GCPD. We'd just gotten off of a hot case, or rather, a cold case with Mr. Freeze, although the case hadn't ran cold. Everywhere Mr. Freeze goes, little known fact, he leaves a trail of icicles and shattered ice crystals. So it's never hard to find him. Anyway, Robin was trick-or-treating from office to office. Jason. And when he got to the commissioner's office, there was a fresh plate of brownies there that he'd baked himself at home. Because I may or may not have let him know that Jason really liked brownies. Maybe just one more. So Jason knocked on the door, held open his little bat trick or treat bag, and said, Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. To which Commissioner Gordon looked altogether excited enthralled, and also a little bit horrified. You have to keep in mind, this is the same boy in the bright green, yellow, and red costume that he'd seen feed countless goons their teeth. I mean, literally feed them their teeth. These are not bad. They're pretty good. I've had better. One more. One for Dick. One for Jason. We won't tell Tim that we had brownies. Shh. It'll be our little secret. Anyway, he was so excited. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. The, the commissioner, James, Jim I call him just dumped the entire tray of brownies right into his entire bat trick-or-treating pillowcase. The whole thing. Not just the brownies. The whole tray. The metal tray. The parchment paper. The brownies. All went in the pillowcase. This is pretty good. If you had a bat computer... You'd be able to get my fingerprints out of the chocolate. Because the chocolate's kind of soft. 
I have to wash it down with a Who Garden beer. Original Belgian wheat beer. Who Garden beer. It has a fantastic, almost citrusy and nutty flavor. Not to be confused with that of an IPA. Hmm. That's fantastic brewing right there. Okay, well, you know what? We'll just make sure that we save Jason's brownie. Dick don't need no brownie. He's a grown-ass man. Jason's a grown-ass man, too. But I try to go a little bit lighter on him on account of the fact that, well, he did get his head beat in with a crowbar and blown up. Mmm. That is a good-ass brownie. Um. Mmm. Let me just call Jason down. Jason! Jason! Well, I'll just, I'll just get it ready for him. It'll be ready for him when he comes down. Jason! I have a brownie for you! What's that? You don't want the brownie? Eat the brownie myself? Are you sure? Because I can't save it for you. And I don't have to eat the brownie. Oh shit. <laughs>